Okay, FM, okay. 101.7. Amichi, how would you get time? The last time I read, uh, you said you were pursuing a law call okay. somewhere. You've mm-hmm. abandoned it. Is it ongoing? No, 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 no. I'm, I have a whole lot going on, but I'm never too busy to chase more money, chase goals, you know, hit some. If it's, if it's something beneficial to my life, why not? And anybody who knows me knows I go all out for my friends. That is a weakness yeah. of mine, but I can't change and I'll maintain it, you know, but supporting a friend shouldn't be something I should hesitate to do, no matter how busy I am. And you know, music work is night work. So once I put my baby to sleep, I have security, you know, watching over, I have God watching over. I can step out and get things done, turn up somewhere. My home turn is, up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> my home musicians be brea, school and see, no more for some career, no kakra. Cause I make kind say, oh, read them, no law and that film. Eh, yeah, but some of us are smart. I mean, uh, you guys just got to know me, but I was 16 when I entered the university. I would say I'm actually a little slow now, but my brain is still very sharp. And women are made to multitask. We were created to breastfeed at the same time, cook at the same time, wash at the same time. We are supernatural beings and you might as well explore what you are capable of as a human being. And trust me, put tiredness and stress away and you realize you're, you're, you're a superhuman, you're a robot. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful what we can do. Okay, and see, Michi is raising the conversation to a higher level now. And um, I love the fact that I say they can multitask. They can breastfeed their baby on the right. Cookie, wash. And then do other things at the same time. Yeah. You know, sometimes they can breastfeed both at the same time. Yes. You know? <laughs> I mean, but if their babies yeah, are twins. If they are twins. <laughs> but what were you supposed to do? But the father and the son too. <laughs> <become> <laughs> twins. <laughs> Entering university at age 16. It's quite uncommon on this part of the world. Mm. Why is it that over the years you presented the razzmatazz, bling bling, glamour, you get what I mean, aspect of Michi, but it didn't show us the real you. Tell me about this university entry and why you've not really shown us who you are over the years. Mm. Um, do you want us to start that story? I could can, I can summarize it, but... I think everybody started to know me from a time where I was at a crossroads. You know, when okay, you've, so. you've been home all the time, now you've seen a little freedom. You're at that age where you want to rebel. I would advise parents that no matter how smart your kids are, if, you, they, you can, if your child is smart enough to leave JSS to uni- the university, consider that the child could be smart, but they are not mentally ready for what's ahead. In my case, it was the freedom. You know, it's like you've been caged at home so much, then boom, this is university at 16. And this freedom I was looking for, you understand? It was, I think you guys got introduced to me at a time I was finding myself. Let me put it in that simple terms, yes. So you probably saw different sides of me at various times, but this is who we really are. You know, it's taken a while to find ourselves right so let's get it so let's roll back a bit did you school here from the beginning yes i did um so after that um entry into the university i think at 17 you know the story from there and i don't like actually to say it I no think. no <laughs> yeah from there i did marketing at a point at wisconsin i was pregnant at the time doing my marketing course so yes i'm educated in marketing um, now I'm on to, I do have a cabin crew certificate, but because of tattoos, I don't even consider that certificate a part of my CV. From the Maritime Academy or where did you no, get that from? Uh, there was a school called Aptec. Yes, they, they were training solely for cabin crew. So yeah, I have that. And then now I'm on my law. So educators, for those of us who may not know, how does tattoo affect your work as a cabin crew? The tattoo wouldn't have affected my work as a cabin crew if it wasn't obvious in the uniform. It shouldn't be visible. In and the, the sleeves or uniform can't come down to cover the tattoo? Not all the uniforms. For the airline I wanted, I won't mention the name. The, the, the shirts were quite short. 
And also when it comes to cabin crew advice, once you're out of high school, start applying. Don't apply for a school, apply to the airline street because they recruit them young, they train you. So going to pay school fees to be trained as cabin crew and still coming back to be in the same interview queue with SS leavers who are still going to be trained. Again, you might as well just apply straight from secondary school. Did you go through the O-level system or the normal GSS by then system? Oh, normal GHS. Then it how did you... GSS by now? Which one? Did you, which J one did you? GSS. It was GSS, GSS. You are not so sure. <laughs> so then how did you enter university as a 16? When did you leave GSS? So and then? I was supposed to be in my third year, but that the second year, third term, vacation, my mom gave me pressure and it was learning, writing of the exact TOEFL. So one of those results came out and it was good. So she applied. I didn't even know. Just like I'm sitting in school. This is my mom walking from the gates. Pack up my stuff and that was it. I left school on Friday. Monday I started the university. You were a shock. I was a shock. Okay, FM. Okay. 101.7.